First of all, my name is Godfred Yao Ousu Etiao. I'm from Ghana in the West Africa country. Yeah, in here. Um, I'm a second year communication design student of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Yeah, and um, I'm 19 years old. And I made the short film called Shorty. Wow, yeah. 19 years old. I made the short film Shorty. That's that's yeah. great. I'm glad you I'm glad you included your age. Shorty, yeah, that's right. Shorty. 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 I'm glad you included your age. That was my yeah. next question. Yeah. Um I couldn't tell by your Instagram and you didn't have it uh, yeah. posted what your age was, but man, I was highly impressed because I knew you were young. Yeah. And then I saw from doing my homework after watching the film that you did it with your yeah. iPhone. Is that correct? Yeah, it was an iPhone. Shorty. But you did it with your iPhone? Yeah. yeah, that that was amazing, man. Um was it something you submitted for a class or was it something you just always wanted to do and, and complete it to post online? Yeah, um, actually, I'm an actor and um, as as I decided to go into acting, I haven't really gotten work. So I just thought of trying to create something on my own that would help me improve myself as an actor. So I decided to get uh, or to gather a group of friends to help me out so that we could create something and try to also show our skill in filmmaking from our perspective or from this side of the world too. So that's how it all started. So I'm an actor, but because I wasn't getting work to do, I decided to try to do something on my own and then go into filmmaking. Oh, wow, that, that's that's inspirational, yeah. man. That's really inspirational. Um, I, I saw the film and I thought for sure that you were um, up and coming by way of your experience, and also um, I assume because you were young that you may have been in a school working on a project like some other people have posted online after they've completed a project for class yeah. or worked with a team and trying to create something. To hear that you're 19 years old, to hear that you're 19 years old and, and did it as a result of not getting the type of work that you wanted um, is, is really inspiring to me and also some other people your yeah. age that might be up and coming that want to uh, create some films waiting on opportunities so that's great man what made you do it on your iphone i mean i know there's a, a lack of means when you use your phone but what made you think that that would work well um i was doing research on it before it all started that was back in 2019 luckily or say miraculously i got this friend on instagram her name is kyla d carter so she sent me an amount to help me with it she saw the inspiration or she saw the kind of fire I had in it and decided to support me with something small. So officially I didn't have the iPhone, but then she sent me the amount to get it. So I'm always thankful for her for it. But unfortunately the phone I was robbed right after the film. So I don't have it anymore. Oh wow you yeah, someone, someone took the phone it. right after the film? But yeah, well, I'm thankful was, you were able to get the film out happy. before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's was, amazing, man. That's amazing. That, that's an unfortunate situation, but the fact yeah. that you got your film out to the public right before you got robbed, that, that's great. And I'm glad that you're here to tell us about it, too, because everybody doesn't, you know, survive situations yeah. where somebody takes something from them, you know, um, yeah, face yeah. to face. So, no, that's yeah. great, man. That's great. Um, Not great that you got robbed. Yeah. Because it's great but, that you got your film out because yeah. um, I enjoyed it. I know it. It was it was an interest it was an interesting film because I I watched it and I was trying to figure out going into it because it was called Shorty and the way the imagery you had on your um on your poster I was trying to find out what it's related to but then when I when I noticed in the beginning that you were um, a young man struggling with being short it made me it made me real curious where where that uh, plot came from did you have any experience that led to that or are you super short and was insecure about your height at one point? Like, how how did you come up with that plot for the movie? And actually, did you write the whole movie? Yeah, or was somebody I wrote helping? the story, but I have a friend who turned it into the script. So we worked together. So he turned it into the script for us to shoot. But then, yes, it's it's from an experience, but not directly with the girl per se. But I have had experiences, for example, with the intro, where. You are with a group of friends, you are talking, and then because of my height, I'll be told to step out or to stand out. Like, short people are not needed here. Yes. So that's how I got that concept from.
And then I also started to watch some of short films on the internet from YouTube. And there was this from Satra. Yeah, I think that's the title, Satra. I had a bit of the flair inside. So I used that to learn on how to try to produce something. And then I will say that was from the inspiration I got to do it. But the story was totally different. But that story kind of touched me to also try to do something, but related to me, so that would be easy to tell out to people or to the public. And I tried to do it. That's great. I, um, a lot of people, a lot of people do good films. That, in my opinion, based yeah. off of real life experiences. So I had to ask that question. Um, yeah, I had to ask that question. And then being young, um, 19 years old, there's some people younger than you that may watch it and some people your age and a little older that may have dealt with that, that, that can see, you know, uh, relate to what you put out and, and find some humor in it and also some inspiration. So that was great. What about the young lady who played in the film with you? Um, did you, did you seek her out to help you? Was she another actor? Was she somebody in your class? Um, How did that come she's about? She's a friend from church. So I talked to her about it. I wasn't having anyone okay. around at that moment. So I talked to her and she was like, she's ready to help out. And I got her in a mission. That's great. That's great that she was willing to do that. Yeah. Because I noticed there wasn't a lot of actors in the film. And um, and I noticed there wasn't a lot yeah. of talking in the film. So even though from watching yeah. it, I could see how things could transpire without a lot of actors. Because that wasn't that's not necessary to make a great film. And I'm, I'm glad that you did that. Yeah. To show people that it's possible. Um, but was there, was it yeah. purposely done? with no words was that something that you thought of in advance or was that something that came about after you started like how did how did what made you come up with that idea to do it with just the texting and um and some of the words in the beginning yeah officially the iphone didn't have a recording um piece i think it wasn't having the button to record or to use the earpiece like i'm using right now so we had to find a way to use that to create it so I would say it was out of the limitation we had, we decided, okay, we are going to make it without the text, or sorry, without the conversations, and then use text instead, and then voiceovers. So because we didn't have a microphone to use at that moment, we decided, okay, we are going to make it without um, conversations inside, and then we use that to create it. That's interesting. And, and, and you... um. You mentioned that you were a film student. So do you have any experience with other type cameras or or you were just trying out what you've learned with the means that you had? Yeah, actually, I just became a film student this year. I mean, my oh, okay. second year. Yeah, so oh, okay. I okay, actually good. did it before we got into class about it or before we even got into anything about it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, Godfrey, let me let me ask you this. I just want to be clear. I just want to be clear. Um. This is your first year of film school. Yeah. And yeah. before and before you started think, your first year of film school, you decided to create a film with a phone that someone helped you get. That's yeah. amazing, man. That's amazing, man. You should be really proud of yourself. You should be really proud of yourself. That's amazing, man. I and really, and I, really, I, yeah. I yeah, I yeah. showcased the film on the website, got some positive responses, and and um and I also am going to put a poster. Uh, for your film, uh, I may have done it already. Now that I think about it, I may have done it already on yeah, on the yeah. um, on the Instagram um, because I want people to know that it's there. Um, I know people browsing will see it, but I want people to know that it's there, especially after they watch this, so yeah, they'll be able yeah. to identify what film you've done and go back and watch it for themselves. Um, I know, and of course, you know, 19 years old in film school, that it is an amateur film. But the fact that it was done so well yeah. on your phone and you're so young, man, I wanted people to be aware of what you were doing. So I thank you for allowing this opportunity for me to uh, share with people what you've done and give them an opportunity to see what you've done and hopefully be inspired by it. Because, again, 19 years old, man, that's great. So what are your goals? Yeah, what are your fun. goals? What are your goals in, in regards to filmmaking and school when you graduate? Yeah. Um, pardon me. Before that, I'd like to share how it's all started even before the film. Um, actually, it's not a film school I'm in. I mean, the university has a graphic design student, but here we call it communication design. Yes, but then in your second year, you choose your major, which is multimedia. 
So in there you have film and then animation. Yeah, and so I'm in my second year. So now we are treating the film aspect of the program. Yes, but then I studied it in my first year during the Corona lockdown season. And I used that to learn on the filmmaking. Yeah, and even before that, I applied for a school in America, um, the American Musical and Dramatical, uh, Dramatic Academy, sorry. And I, I got admission to it from how my inspiration to do the film actually is from that school. I got admission to it, but the amount I was supposed to pay was uh, more than I could handle. So I literally couldn't come into the school. So because of that, I decided, okay, then I have to do something on my own because it was very hurtful, but I, I used it as an inspiration to create something on my own. So that was where it came from, actually, that because I couldn't get into the school for filming only, I'm going to decide to do something without it. And then I created it with the help of my friend, Kyla, I started it. That's great. That's great, man. So what are your aspirations again? Do you, do you plan on making a film, uh, a, a, a longer film? Like, I know you are you did a short film, and I'm just assuming that it was because it was on your phone, but um, as you graduate, do you plan on making a hour-long, hour-and-a-half-long film? Do you Are you planning to make another short film with more, um, you know, more tools available to kind of, uh, make up for the shortcomings you had with your phone? Or what What are your goals right now in regards to some more filmmaking? Yeah, um, for right now, I'd say um, I'm going to be making more short films for now. Okay. Then as um, as a team, if we are able to build ourselves more, we would progress into making longer or future films. But for now, we are starting with the shots. Then we'll do more That's of good. it for now. That's good. That's good. But make sure you keep me posted because um I definitely want to see them for myself personally, and I also want to, again um help promote those films and let other people enjoy them and see them because they, I know they're hard to I know they're hard to find on the internet with so many of them, but um but that's what this yeah, platform is yeah. all about, man. So I definitely want you to keep me posted and make me aware of what you got going on, and um and and maybe later we can discuss another project. And as you build your 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 talent and your skill level goes up, I'm sure the films will get better, man. Um. You're gonna have critics out there that always want to find something wrong with what you do, um, yeah, and and yeah. again, as a as an older male, um, I really couldn't uh, relate <laughs> to the to the to the theme and the plot of the movie, you know, and then not being too short myself, but I had to yeah, respect your yeah. hustle for getting it done, and 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 with the means yeah. that you use yeah. to get it done, I thought it was amazing, man. I I really did. Um, were were there any um parts of the movie that you wanted to film? that were difficult for you that we couldn't tell from watching it? Did, did anything happen that kind of stunt what you were trying to do or that was that you found really, really hard to do that you didn't expect? Yeah, the room shots. It was mm. all shots in a single room. Every room shot was in one basic room. And then okay. the place was uh, a bit overcrowded, so you had to be moving things around. And ah. Yeah. And then we were two. We were two who shot the film. It was the guy who was the script writer who had to also shoot it. And then me, the actor. So it was just the two of us. Without any um crew to join us at that moment. So it was very difficult shooting that part. We had to be shifting things around. And then we created our own soft boxes. So okay. without anyone to help us with the lighting, and we had to be positioning it before we start. And that was very, very, very difficult to do because we were just two oh. shooting the film. So that was the hardest part of it. But okay. the ones shot outside were easier because there was movement there. But in there, there was less movement. So it was very difficult getting the lightning effect on me with that. Ah, okay. Well, what about most fulfilling? Was, was there anything that you expected to be hard that was easy being one first year in film school and putting something like that together? Especially working with the phone, if you've never done that before, so was there anything on you was like, wow, I can't believe how easy this is, expecting it to be hard? The opposite of the last question. Yeah, um, I'd say shooting outside, shooting outside, because the indoor shooting was very difficult. I thought 
it was going to be very difficult outside too. But the light source from outside is always different from inside. So it was easier shooting outside. Yeah, we didn't have any difficulties outside. Okay, all right. Well, look, man, I, I really enjoyed you taking the time to do this. Um, I try not to make them too long. I want to give you an opportunity to tell people um, where they can go watch your film. Because, again, we're just showcasing for you. I want you to give people opportunity to find out where they can go watch it, um, where they can follow you at if they want to see what you're doing or have any questions about it themselves after watching this. And also, again, if, if uh, something comes to mind about something you plan on doing in the future that you want people to look out for. So I'm going to give you a second to do that. Yeah. Okay. So the film is currently on YouTube with their productions account called Joe Studios. E R I L Studios. So it can be found there. Comments, shares are all available there to be done. And then my account too is Godfred Owusu G H. The uh, Owusu is O W U S U. So Godfred Owusu. And then there is an a G H after it. That's another I'm inside. You just type Godfred Owusu G H and then you find me. And then also there is the productions account too on Instagram as True Studios. So that one too. If you need anything about the film, you can find it there. Apart from my personal account, it's also there. Find out. Then in the near future, I'll be producing more. So it'll be shared on YouTube and then also in the Instagram account to mine and then the productions account. So if I'm needed, can be found at Godfred O T H E O D F R E D dot O S U O W U S U dot G H Godfred O T H what were your inspirations being a young filmmaker and actor out of Ghana? Give me, give me your inspirations. What made you want to go into film school and do your project? Yeah. Um, looking at, as I started to learn more on acting and then know more about it, I found out um, a lot of people already in the States who are doing it. And I mean, see these young ones do it. Especially with this girl I learned from um, Masai Martin, being the youngest Hollywood producer. I am inspired by her so much. Being so young as 16 years and then being the youngest Hollywood producer. It's, it's not easy to be from this side of the world and then to have a dream and to be able to accomplish it. Most of us here, that I, I, inspire, I, I hope to inspire one day where my people here would accept that and then let their kids go into their dreams because when you are here it's basically your parents decide what you do so few people are able to go into their dreams and it's so sad because you can see outside people are able to live their dreams as young as few months old and they, they are you can see kids acting but i look here and then you can't do that it's not allowed like your parents decide what you do nothing more nothing less so that's what i hope to inspire a change in it one day absolutely yeah absolutely which which leads me to my next question godfrey what inspiration do you want to uh share with people your age trying to get involved in filmmaking and also older people who may have an interest in doing it um as a 19 year old film student what what inspiration can you give uh to someone else who is thinking about it but may have some some um, anxieties about getting started yeah, I would first of all say you have to relax and then most importantly, learn more. And then also start now. Don't worry about what you have or what you don't have. That was what I learned from these YouTube filmmakers. I was told to start now. Forget about your limitations. Try to work with your limitation. Because the movie was made in a short, in a, a single room that I was in at home. So I decided, how am I going to be able to utilize this small room, to create something? And then for your external environments, there are lots of places you can shoot from. So I'd say, first of all, start learning now and then start shooting now. I know it's going to be hard, it's going to be difficult, but if you do not start, you never get the time to start. So start now, try shooting anything you can get. Forget about your limitations. Just try to use your limitations to create something and you'll be good to go.